uh, Dad, no, no picking fights. We just, we just had a small errand to run and... Hmm, into a giant hell pit that you snuck into without telling me. Hell pit has such pejorative connotations. I'm sure it's Denizen's preferred netherworld excavation. No, 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 no. you are not wheedling out of this one. We agreed. No, Dad, you agreed. And what do you expect me to do? In the course of my lifetime, you have protected me from polyester. Well, they have those carcinogens that leach into your skin. Swimming holes. The amoeba that eat your brains. And my class trip to Clownville. That place is a cultural Chernobyl. We're not talking about you eating candy corn for dinner, which you definitely also should never do. But we're talking about you crawling into a pit where an evil god who has tried to kill you twice has been camped out with her vampire army. Okay, yeah, when you put it that way, it sounds kind of bad. But I wasn't alone. Laugh and Karma with me. Oh, great. The revenge-obsessed vampire and the, and the lab junkie with the self-preservation instincts of a lemming. I feel much better. I don't mean that personally, obviously. Right? No, it's hey, totally you're not wrong. accurate. Yeah. Thanks for the support, guys. I mean, what do you think this evil god is going to do when she finds out you stole her sword? This is exactly why they kill the parents off in those stories, I swear. Because if those poor slobs had to watch what their children actually do, they'd go mad, all right? Dad. Do you think about what you did? How close you came to hurting yourself? I'm sorry, I... I'm not trying to make you worry, I just... I don't want you to be so scared for me all the time. It's too late. When I think about what could have happened to you, Dad, you can't stop things from happening to me. Life happens. And if the Dean ends the world, it doesn't matter if you lock me in the tallest tower or the deepest nuclear bunker. Sometimes there is no safe unless you fight back. I wish you hadn't gotten so smart to figure that one out. Okay, okay. But you need to tell me, all right? And you need to let me help. I called Dad on that one. Okay. We'll find you some dad-sized adventures. Hmm? Okay, so less adventure, more Rubik's Cube. We need to figure out what the third talisman is. Okay, we've got two out of four. The book calls the third talisman the chalice, but it also called the book the word and the sword the blood. So it might not be literal. It could be sacred wine or a favorite mug or a bong. Like, oh, like one of the board members had a secret mystical hookah. Not that I would know what a hookah is. It's like some kind of gourd, right? So the book led us to the sword, so maybe there's some sort of clue on it. Like if we spill blood on it or put it in the fire, like... The one ring of Sauron? Are we seriously pulling our experimental procedures from Middle Earth? Anything now? Stop! You bats. No man. Nothing. We spent the last three days burning, freezing, and psychoanalyzing that hunk of evil, and all we've got to show for it are burnt fingers. Seriously, Betty, if you have any idea about how to get this thing to spill its talisman beans... You really want to feed that ego any more than you already have? <laughs> Too much help us, Betty Wan Kenobi. It's hard not to be impressed. When I knew Betty, she was a hot mess, barely passing poli -sci. Now she's gearing up for her second year at Princeton, summa cum laude, VP of the debate team, and nationally ranked as a fencer. Oh yeah, and she's learning dead languages in her spare time. I mean, I barely made it through second term. Because you survived second term. And hey, if you're being graded on a Silas curve, then... <laughs> Still nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Why, you can't talk to young Holtzman? Or your dad? Or me? Of course I can talk to you, it's just... 
Betty, I don't have to worry about stepping in five different types of history before I finish my sentence. Or that I'll be selfish and kiss her and clear violations of the friends guidelines. Oh, I didn't mind really. <laughs> you deserve better. And you were right. I can talk about being a realist all I want, but I have no idea how I'm to do this. Yeah, you're not doing so bad. I mean, last I checked, we've got two talismans already. Yeah, I guess we do. Now, if we only had any idea about where to start looking for the third. Mm. Sweetie. I noticed that your evil sword had some dirt on it. Uh, that would probably be giant anglerfish goo. Of course it would. So I polished it up, and it turns out there's something written on it. Oh my god, that's more Sumerian. Carm, can you translate? Um, yeah, that one's necklace, and, and I think that one's secret. So it's some kind of secret necklace? Did one of the board members have a secret necklace? It wasn't a secret. A hid one. Maddie's locket, which I had, and then I lost it. <laughs>